Oh, we almost went fishing and then... <laughs> Biggies! Righto, Donnie. First fish, what? Uh, lose has to buy a box. Done. That thing doesn't count, surely. Colors <laughs> <laughs> on that. You know, baby, I'm a moving, I'm a moving with your vibration. Jimmy, a bit of blood on the new boat. You're going to love it. <laughs> Let's get them back in. I'm going to be losing oh. my oh. concentration. Oh, it's not the rod. <laughs> off my hook. I can't wait for all the comments to come charging through from actual fishermen just having a having a dig at us. How much we know what we're doing? You know, baby, don't you tease me, don't you tease me with your temptation. Good everyone, welcome back to another episode of Matt's Vlogs. Now look, obviously, it's all going on at the moment with the bloody coronavirus and isolation, so the poor old truck has been basically parked up in the garage. We've been trying to bring you guys as much content as we can from the shed, um, doing product reviews, the new podcast. But um, look, the only thing that you actually can get out and do at the moment is go fishing. Now, uh, I wouldn't mind stocking up the, the freezer with some, with some bloody fish. So I've grabbed Donny. Um, the isolation rules at the moment are you are allowed um, two people in a boat, still keep your distance. Now, Donnie works down at the marina, which is absolutely perfect because no one is here um, during the weekends. Uh, so there's, we've basically got a private boat ramp um, and we're good to go. So instead of taking out my little tinny, we thought we might go offshore today, try and chase a little bit of um, mackerel. So I've upgraded. Have a go at this thing. We've grabbed, um, we've grabbed Timmy's Mako Craft. So this is the 490 uh, Commander Pro, fully blacked out. I'll do a bit of a walk around video on this um, when we get out there somewhere a little bit nicer than the boat ramp. We're just loading up uh, the camera gear now. We've got all our fishing gear in there. What's going on, Donnie? Hey, hey. Ready? Mate, tidy boat. That'll, uh, that'll keep us all safe and sound out there. Are we going to catch some fish today? I bloody hope so. <laughs> I hope so. There's a good reason I didn't go out solo. It's because by now you should know I suck at fishing. So the pressure is on oh, for this pressure's, guy. Pressure's <laughs> right on. To fill the bloody esky full of some uh, fish. So, all right, let's basically get this in the drink. How good's this? Boat ramp to ourselves. Perfect. Let's go. We might be doing a lot more of this just quietly. <laughs> <laughs> Timmy is actually out today, um, so we'll try and catch up with him. He's got the, the 630 Island Cab. Ooh, <laughs> we'll have to have a look. Start dreaming I've around, gone mate. from a 376 to this, and I'm already thinking about the 6 metre. <laughs> Let's go. What's going on, Timmy? You stay over there, mate. Social distancing. Yeah, mate. <laughs> yeah. This is the one we'll steal next time. This is the 630 Island Cab. It's got the 150 Merc on the back. We're going to stay away from Timmy. We're, we're doing the right thing out here. It was social distancing, but we will follow him out offshore um, to see if we can get a few mackerel. But while the boat's nice and clean, thought I'd just give you a real quick walk around. You want to give us a, give us a tour, Donnie, of a the tour, uh, tour. of the 490, mate? Well, mate, as you can see, this is the brand new Mercury four-stroke, 80 horsepower. Quite as hell, eh? What did we just get it topped out to? Uh, 30, 33, 34. Yeah, and that was going against the tide, so that's pretty decent. And um, mate, what I like is that you've got a full back, so you can actually lean up on the back if you are fishing and trolling. Yeah and um, it just needs some rod holders, but Timmy's gonna get that in there soon enough. Yeah, this thing's so fresh. Um, no one's fished out of this yet. It doesn't even have rod holders in it. Let's hope we're the first ones to get a bit of blood in it. A bit of blood in the boat. Um, come up here. One thing I noticed straight off the bat was these seats are oh. stupid comfy. Um, yeah, anyway. I reckon all the storage too. So you've got storage up the front. So you got the, the uh, live, live bait tank in here. Live, live bait tank. It's a light bait tank in there, which is awesome. Um, and then all the safety gears underneath here, we've chucked a bit of, oh, what have we got in there? Towels and everything like that as well, so that's awesome. Uh, you got your anchor well up the have, front. Have you ever used one of these? Mate, nothing this flash. This no. thing's an absolute beast. Me neither, I'm really keen to give them a go. So it's got the Minn Kota up the front. Um, obviously it's all powered by, uh, off the battery down the back here. 
Now, separate battery up the front. Oh, sorry, yeah, separate battery up the front for the Minn Kota. It's got the uh, nine inch Garmin, um, GME, of course, for the offshore, Fusion stereo system. Bloody. Just an all round crack package. Yeah. I think, um, you know, for anything just. Ideally, this is probably one of my perfect size boats because this is great for me cruising around the broadwater. I can easily drag this thing up to Fraser Island. Easily up to Five Rocks, I reckon. Yeah, up to Five Rocks. That's where we need, That's to, take where we need to take it, straight it. to Five Rocks. So as far as all-round boats go, this is probably the perfect size for me. But look, if you want any, want any more information on um, Mako Craft, I'll put links in there so you guys can go over and check it out. That's just a real quick walk around because I know you guys will ask. Uh, nice big platform at the back too with your non-slip mats. Anyway, let's go and use it what it's good for. Let's see if we can catch some fish, Donnie. Let's go fishing. Well, Timmy's just, uh, he's the only one that was smart enough to bring a jig. <laughs> <laughs> so he's gonna, he's jigging for a bit of live bait over there because uh, we forgot ours. So we're gonna rig our rod, rods up um, now. And then we'll, we're gonna head out to about, where are we going, about 17, 18? Called 18, 18 fathoms. 18 fathoms. I reckon the, the Mackie are on. Absolute precision. Not a clue. Not a clue. Woo! A little bit fresh. <laughs> Almost went fishing and then, <laughs> biggies. <laughs> We're such good fishermen. Not just any biggie, you mate. One? You wouldn't oh, like. You wouldn't like. On. You wouldn't like them. Look at it. It's got chocolate <laughs> on it. <laughs> now we're ready to go. Yeah. Fishing. Now we can go fishing. All right. Let's do it. Mate, we've just we've just pulled out. We're not far offshore. We've come out through, and it is a complete glass out. I've never seen it like this. This is ridiculous. How's the bloody weather? I, it's got to be a weekday to have these sort of conditions, <laughs> mate. Righto, Donnie. First fish. What? Uh, Lose us to buy a box. Done. <laughs> Just dropped it. No. I'm like, wait, let me get the GoPro. <laughs> Fish off. Oh, bullshit. Go again. Get him. Take 27. And he's back on. Yep. Oh, he's got it. It's a, it's a bloody horse. <laughs> yes. It's Matty. It's not too bad. Matty, get her up, is, Donnie. This is this is a cracker. It's a bottlenose dolphin. Oh, oh don't don't drop him. <laughs> Come on. Get oh, one in the no! 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 <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> oh. oh, oh, Donnie the dropper. Oh. We're gonna start calling him. Eat my heart. What do you? So what do you got on here? Just a um, just a metal jig. Just jigging it. Jeez, that's doing the damage. Oh, that's gold. Come on. Something small. Catching the bait. Literally. But it's something. Drop two big ones. And then what have we brought up, Matty? What have we brought up? Hey, oh. little GT. Oh my god. <laughs> hey, you owe me a carton. <laughs> <laughs> I owe <think> that counts. <laughs> Let us know in the comments if you think that counts as the first fish. And does he owe me a carton? That thing doesn't count, surely. <laughs> <laughs> Good little fella. Quietly, we are about to get pumped by a storm. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. That's it, that's it. That's it. Oh yeah. 
Hey. Oh, snapper! Yes! You oh, get little in. bastard! Oh, God, get in the boat! <laughs> you beauty! <Yes. laughs> yeah, right, who thinks Donnie owes me a cut? No. That's a, that's a fish! <laughs> Have a look at the colours on that beautiful blue spot. Absolutely gorgeous little fish. He's out of there! Oh well, that's two in the boat. Let's go get something bigger. Right, so Donnie's caught me and I got a fish on. You do visually have a fish on. Get it off there, Donnie! Oh no. Okay. Something small again, but a fish nevertheless. Oh, not bad. Look at it, look at it, what have you got? Oh, it's okay. Oh, it's a little tuna. <laughs> little bloody tuna, <laughs> you are joking. What? <laughs> the bloody hell. <laughs> oh, look at that. Well, we just threw the poor little tuna back in. Look at this, Timmy, a bit of blood on the new boat. You're gonna love it. <laughs> Let's get them back in. Let's go again. We got a fish on. Yeah, baby. I don't know, probably something weird. Well, you've won the award for the weirdest fish. Look at the teeth on this bastard. Wow. So, like we said, terrible fishermen. So if you know what this is, let us know in the comments. I don't know. Another weird dick fish? I think it's a weird dick fish. It's a dick fish! And I've got it the same way as you. Ah, my dick fish was bigger than yours. <laughs> <laughs> Another one of those weird fish? Another weird fish. That is a crack of weird fish. That's a Oh look, don't get me wrong, I'm not upset with catching fish, but it's definitely another dick fish. <laughs> Schools of these buggers. Get off my hook! Alright, so because we're sharp as bloody bowling balls, we've been trying to sit on this nice patch of ground, and then we keep going back and forwards to find it, and then remembered, oh, we've got a bloody U-Butte Min Coder up the front. <laughs> like a bunch of geniuses. So now we've killed the motor. It's peaceful it as hell. It's beautiful. Now with the, um, if, you, if you're not familiar, if you're not a fisho, um, a Minn Kota system is basically a little electric motor. So I can steer the boat with this and go where we want. Yes. Donnie's got himself a little fish here. Um, and then I can hit the anchor button and it'll basically hold us on the spot. So this is better, Matt. This, this is, is much, better. much better little, little spot. What do you got there, Donnie? Is it a dick fish? I hope not. That's heavy. It's heavy. When Donnie says it's heavy, it's about oh, it's 15. Oh, it's a dick fish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we suck. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this not is not a, a drill. Fish. Oh, no! That is pathetic. He smashed that, man. <laughs> Look he at the song. He smashed that. He smashed it. Oh. You are full of it, right? Hey. Have a little tuna. <laughs> That's two for you. Two little stripies. Oh, Oh, fish on! Uh, <laughs> not Donnie's on light gear, but this should oh, no! no! Oh, Donnie! Donnie! Oh, that is dreadful. That is heartbreaking. That is, like that was proper too. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, oh, I'm so unlucky. Donnie dropper over here. Oh, that that sucks. All right, well, we've just had a double hook up another couple of our little tuna. We're onto a nice little bit of ground here. Here comes, here comes Timmy in the big 630. Wonder if those boys had any luck. Done. Thank you, Timmy. Yeah. And what did you catch, mate? Uh, mate, we got a nice big uh, data cod that we, we had to release. Big cod, how big? Mate, honestly, no joke. Probably about this big, mate. Absolute stonker. So I'm in the wrong boat. I should have been in with Timmy, not Donnie. Yeah. <laughs> what do you reckon, a bloody, how many centimetres? Oh, yeah, mate, it's a good 90 centimetres. 90 centimetre potato cod, if you can't hear him. Yeah. Absolute monster. Um, I'll, I'll, put, I'll put a photo up. Yeah. I'll put a photo in the video so that there's proof. Uh, and they did let it go, but well done. Looks like the 630 is winning at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> We've had a bucket load of fun, nothing successful enough to put in the bloody uh, fridge, but I think we'll have a packet of chips, a bit of a cold beer as a reward, and then uh, head on back in. See what else we can find there, yeah, or head back in. I'll tell in. you what though, I reckon we come back out here with bait. Yeah, get a bait on that ground. With our spot, I reckon we'll be on. Alright, well let us know in the comments if you want us to do uh, a little bit more of this fishing stuff. 
Hopefully we get better at it for you, but... Um... Hey, I think we did pretty well today. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what else we can find. So we were just having a little trawl. And I've got absolutely smashed. Oh, and and just... I, had, I had my buddy line wrap around his. It's full, it's full me, but I don't think it's got too much weight in it. I think it was just a good fun run. I think it's probably a tuna. Come on, we need this one! Oh, I need some colour. We need to see it. Oh! Oh! Yeah! Stonker. What is it? <gasps> Matt! Oh, it's, it's a, a tuna. Matt. Is it mackerel? Oh, it's a tuna. Oh, he's got some weight. Oh, I snapped the rod! <laughs> 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 Oh! 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 Yeah! The rod stabber! <laughs> Alright, there we go. Nice tuna. Put up a good little fight on the reasonably light gear. And then uh, the way I brought it in the boat, <laughs> I snapped me rod like a dighead. Anyway, Stace, I dare say you'll be eating this one because I don't eat tuna, but happy days. That, that just topped off the little afternoon. You beauty! Putting his rod back in the water so quick, he's driving, he's trawling all at once, and he's caught himself an 80 horsepower Mercury. <laughs> well done, Donnie! <laughs> <laughs> You've made an utter mess, haven't you? No. <laughs> no. No, I got it sorted. Oh. <laughs> I can't wait for all the comments to come charging through from actual fishermen just having to having to dig at us. Because of how much we know what we're doing. All right, well, after the excitement calmed down, it was good fun catching that, but we Googled it. It was a Mac tuna, which are pretty average eating. Um, Stace didn't want it, so, we, <laughs> so we, we chucked him back. He swam away like a champion. We're going to do one final trawl on the way back in now, see if we can't snag another one just for a bit of fun. But what a day. What a cracker of a day. Um, absolute glass out this morning. And then... Um, we actually caught some fish. It'd be nice if we could snag something to eat. <laughs> How's this to top off an epic day? A pot of dolphins. G'day, mate. Hey! Woohoo! You! Absolutely magic. There they are. All right, well, there we go. What an epic little adventure there, Donny boy. Mate, that was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> the, green, the green team, we've had a cracker of a little day. Um, look, unfortunately, we didn't get anything to bring home, which means we're just going to have to head out and have another crack. But um, shout out for Timmy uh, from Mako Crafts for letting us borrow. Awesome. Absolutely mate. stoked. I do not want to give this thing back. No. Um, and just quietly, I'm probably not going to. I reckon it needs, <laughs> needs a big explore wrap down the side. Yeah, we'll get a couple of rod holders put in this. Absolutely. Um, and maybe a second, well, actually off the Minkota battery, might get a Waco fridge in here, throw Perfect. the swags in and run away. Perfect. Anyway, guys, look, that's a little wrap on this vlog. If you've got any questions about anything or you want to uh, pick on us for our <laughs> very good fishing skills, chuck it in the comments. Throw it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe. See you next time on Matt's Vlogs. Yeah.